What's up fellow hunters, Nox here, welcome to another exciting build video. Today we have a super comfortable high DPS light bowgun build for all raw ammo types. I'm gonna show an augmented version first to cover all skills. Then we take a look at the actual augments and then a augment free budget version. Let's get right into it. The bullet rain. If you're looking for something to efficiently and safely grind that research level or farm materials, look no further. This build makes high level anomaly investigations incredibly easy. It can be used with multiple weapons, which we'll see later in the video. The first weapon of choice is the Chaotic Gore LBG. 367 attack, positive as well as negative affinity and great slots. This weapon can be used for 3 raw ammo types and has rapid fire for all of them. But we'll see one additional weapon option for each ammo type after the build. To get all the essential skills, you only need a talisman with 1 level 2 slot and 2 level 1 slots. The attack boost I have on mine is not even necessary. We're gonna start by going over the damage skills. Since the build can be used for pierce, spread and normal, we're gonna begin with the ammo type up skill. This will be whatever you want to specialize in. For this example, it would be pierce. At level 3, this will increase the damage of the selected ammo type by 20%. If you want to specialize in spread or normal, all you have to do is change two decorations. Following that, we of course have rapid fire up, which at level 3 adds another 20% damage to any ammo used with rapid fire. Next we have Spare Shot to give us a 25% chance to not use up ammo while firing. This will indirectly increase DPS as well. Outside of our bowgun specific skills, we have a ton of other damage increasing factors, starting with Affinity. Chaotic Gormagala weapons convert their negative affinity into positive when curing Frenzy, giving the weapon 30% affinity because we get Frenzy from Bloodlust. And then Bloodlust itself will add another 20% on top of that, making it 50. Together with Weakness Exploit, we have 100% affinity on weak spots. We also have an additional 10% from Critical Eye as a nice bonus. This will come in handy when using other weapons as well. Along with that, we of course have Critical Boost to get the most out of our critical hits. Then we have Max Attack Boost and Mail of Hellfire for a massive raw damage boost. Max peak performance will add an additional 20 attack on top as long as our health is full. Level 1 is in the build by default, but going for level 3 will be optional. The skill works really well with the build even though we are using Bloodlust. There's no need to worry about the health drain because the use of rapid fire ammo will get rid of that in a matter of seconds. So peak performance will actually have a very high uptime. It can be active for over 80% of the hunt. We have reload speed, recoil down and steadiness all at level 3 for optimal gun performance. But these can be adjusted to whatever level you want them to be. Depending on your weapon of choice, this will give you additional slots. Powder Mantle is a really nice damage bonus to have on rapid fire bowguns. It's super easy and quick to trigger which is great for extra DPS and stopping force. Burst will add further damage as well since we're constantly landing hits. Next we're gonna take a look at why this build is so comfortable on top of the amazing damage output. Starting with Guts. This is an absolute hidden gem for light bowguns. The skill can save us from fainting one time per hunt as long as our health is above the yellow marker. Here's a quick demonstration. You can see that the only armor I have on is a piece with guts, and my defense is barely above 200. That is so low that 90% of all master rank attacks would just kill me. But as you can see, I get hit and still survive the attack with 1 HP. Usually, the marker on the health bar would now disappear completely. But cool thing is, guts actually stacks with moxie. Which is why I can even survive a second fatal hit if my health is above the marker again. Outside of guts, we also have intrepid heart as a very effective safety net. Evade Extender is great for increased mobility and super easy dodging with light bowguns. But in case you don't need it, you can remove it for a free level 4 slot. And stun resistance is of course always great to have. On top of all that, you can also get the Kushala Blessing that already comes with the build up to level 3 if you want to. That will give you some automatic healing in addition to everything else. This is what my current augments are looking like. The waist is pretty nice, but everything else is super simple. The only thing actually necessary is one level of bloodlust. After that, it's Mail of Hellfire for additional damage and Guts for extra safety. If you don't want Guts, I recommend going for the ammo up skill and trying to reach level 2. I just went with Coalescence on the headpiece because I lost it on the waist. You can definitely make the build even better, specifically if you get additional slot upgrades. Before we take a look at the other weapon options, here's the non-augmented budget version of the build. All of the essential skills are intact, but we have to switch to the Shigaru helmet in order to get Bloodlust. This will actually increase Coalescence from level 1 to 3, but that's hardly noticeable. The biggest downside here is that Mail of Hellfire stays at level 1 and we don't have Guts for extra safety. We also lose Powder Mantle since that came with the previous headpiece. Even with dropping a few skills, the budget version is still a very good option if you can't augment the pieces yet. If you're going to stick with these armor pieces, the augment recommendations would look like this. The only thing that changes is going for Powder Mantle instead of Bloodlust. These are the 
the other best weapons for the build. We of course have Malzino as another very good option for Pierce. It has better ammo capacity for Pierce, but 20 less attack and the slots aren't as flexible. The Espinas Light Bowgun is the best rapid fire spread option. It also has access to rapid fire shrapnel in case you want to use it. And then we have Garangom for normal shot ammo. This one doesn't have rapid fire, but in exchange it has really high attack. These three are very good raw options. However, the Chaos Score LBG has a very unique advantage. It will let us specialize in one of the ammo types and still be able to use the other two very efficiently. It will be the best overall choice if you like using different kinds of ammo with one gun. It's a phenomenal choice for any multi-monster quest. Make sure to check out the other builds for all kinds of weapons on the channel so you don't miss anything you might enjoy. Thanks for watching, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.